everyone. Let's have a quick chat about Life by Lu Yao. This book was first published in China in 1982, but just recently got an English translation. So the story is set in the early 1980s and talking about the life back then. So it's not contemporary China that the book is talking about, which is mentioned in the foreword, which I recommend reading after reading the book which is what I do always. So what is the book about? The book follows a young man who's 24 year old and we meet him when he loses his teaching job. The setting is a small mountain village full of peasants and the young man is smart. He went to school in the next bigger town, but he wasn't smart enough to test into college. So he got back, didn't have to do hard labor, but got the teaching job. But then someone in the higher ranks of decision-making decided that his son is a better teacher, basically nepotism and corruption. This is a topic that frequently reappears in the book as something that the new laws are changing or cracking down hard on. So nepotism and this form of corruption of finding good jobs for the family is addressed in varying points. But for our protagonist, it starts off from the bad point because he's suffering on the bad side of nepotism. So he's rather depressed and has to turn to hard labor and really live the peasant life, which he always thought he was better off. The book follows him for a couple of months and we see him with his aspirations and changes in his work situation, job situation, life situation, and where he wants to go. He at some point finds a job in the next town that is a little bit bigger. It's where he studied and he meets friends he used to have when he went to school there. I don't want to go into too much detail about the events happening in the book. The book talks a lot about the peasant life compared to or juxtaposed to the city life, whereas this is just a small town, but it's bigger than this small mountain village, I think of 40 families or so. I don't remember the exact number, but it was a very small community. And that is what the book looks at a lot about the struggles this young man has between staying in the village and sticking to his roots or going big, going to the city and evolving and getting better or improving himself and his life. There was a lot of commentary about how to behave in society and what society expects of you. There were some parts where I thought this read a little bit like propaganda when it talks about the rules, the laws and following the laws and the implications it has when you don't follow them and the idea of a community and a society. But I'm not exactly sure if I just read it as propaganda because it could also be just common things appearing in Chinese literature, which doesn't mean it isn't propaganda. Anyways, what I mean is I don't think this book is meant as propaganda. I think there are parts that could be read as propaganda in there, but it could also be just part of what the viewpoint or the society or the general expectations of people in that time at that place were. Can't say really. I really enjoyed reading this book, mostly because of the writing. The writing is very beautiful. It really draws a wonderful picture of what is going on. It really gives you an impression and takes you into the village and working the hard life of the peasant. It really shows you the insight of the characters that are struggling, that are dealing with their life problems and the expectations and the reasons for what they are doing and all of those things. It's wonderfully described. The writing flows very slow at some points, but it never lets you go. You're just drawn into the story, into the characters. The characters are interesting and lovable and you really get invested in their lives, in their hardships, in their ideas. And I really enjoyed that about the book. There is a lot to say about the struggles between leaving the village or staying in the village, sticking to your roots or improving or moving on and being more modern, let's say it like that. And I can highly recommend reading it. Let me know in comments if you have heard of life, if you've read it, if you want to read it, if you're interested in that, if you have any other books talking about these topics, that you could recommend. Let's talk in comments about all of this. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.